Okay, welcome uh, to our practice and community time in this mid-February. <clears throat> I uh, found out earlier this evening that today, tomorrow is, uh, it's so odd that we have these designated days, but it works. It reminds us, it brings things to the forefront of our intention, so it works. So tomorrow is what is called Random Acts of Kindness Day, 2022. And um, another part of what's often referred to with random acts of kindness is also spontaneous acts of beauty. Um, and these are beautiful invitations and intentions that are not separate from the Dharma, which is what we're practicing here. The Dharma is about freeing our hearts and minds from the places we're contracted and clinging and holding on in seen and unseen ways to our stories of who we are and who other people are. And this um, practice of random acts of kindness, spontaneous acts of beauty is um, a way to bring into real time our sense of interconnection with all beings reciprocity, generosity. And these are fundamental aspects of awakening and freeing our hearts and minds. And also it's coming into awareness right now. These are parts of our ethical foundation to, to practice generosity, to practice wise actions and um, use our energy and awareness in skillful ways. Uh, so before the recording here on YouTube um, in the Zoom group, we were chatting together and people, uh, we just did a quick brainstorm to share uh, our intentions and possibilities um, for this practice for tomorrow and for some of us maybe for the whole week. Um, so I'll just read them to you and I'll also post a link that I uh, shared in the group down below, which is, you can Google tons of lists of random acts of kindness, but this one is a fun one. It has um, a list of 50 and it also has kind of a random generator that you can click and it'll give you a number to um, in that list of 50 to, to try. Uh, so I'll put that down below in the YouTube recording. Okay, so here's um, the offerings from our our hearts of care and generosity uh, that showed up in, in this group here. Uh, take my spouse lunch at work. They usually get working and roll through their meals and just eat crackers and stuff. <laughs> uh, contribute a book to one of those little free libraries that hopefully you have some in your community. They're great. Send an encouraging message or compliment to someone. Leave a kind note on my neighbor's door. What, what a different world if all neighbors did that. All the neighbors leaving kind notes for all the neighbors. Wow. Uh, another person here did this last week just because it spontaneously arose in their awareness um, last week. Uh, they randomly bought a lunch for a friend and ordered it, and it arrived at their door. Friends. Um, buying something from small local shops to encourage their business. We're all aware of how our small businesses are suffering 
right now. Feed birds. Care package for a friend up north. Share a favorite poet, poem with an arts group. Beautiful. Call a friend whose aged dog is close to the end of their life. Check in on some acquaintances I recently met through my volunteer work who may be feeling, uh, feeling unsafe walking in Ottawa's streets these days. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, another share is um, making some fresh vegan meals for a friend whose mom died recently and um, taking them some food. Beautiful. And uh, when we hear these, can you, I just feel so much joy and, and so touched, like so hopeful. <laughs> oh my goodness, how great to feel hope in a time that's often feeling rather grim. Wow, it's so inspiring to feel all this goodwill, all this generosity, all this sense of others, others, and what might be touching for them, supportive for them. Gee, that's it. Just re feels really uplifting right in this moment. Yeah, and so um, we're going to do a a meditation practice tonight based on this um it, it's interesting the random acts of kindness because it's it's very intentional acts of kindness volitional there's a intention which is an important part of our meditation practice right intention wise intention and um it's and wise action i mean this is all these are all parts of wise speech um, these are all parts of the path to freeing ourselves from suffering, from pain. And uh, yeah, so the randomness is, is in like who, who we offer to. It's just like, oh, maybe not like the people we usually are in relationship with it could be totally but the randomness also includes could be strangers like just leaving love notes in the grocery store you know um painted rocks with beautiful messages i know some people are really don't like the painted rocks <laughs> like leave the rocks um so it could be other other things um yeah so it it, the idea of randomness, mm, there's an intentionality to it. So it's not, it's not something that just randomly happens, but intentionally happens because we bring our hearts and minds into this. And so kindness is another translation, another interpretation or word for in our practice which is called metta loving kindness friendliness benevolence um goodwill and so random acts of metta spontaneous acts of beauty is totally in line with the dharma Hmm. And uh, so we're going to just riff on this in our practice tonight and do a, a kind of a different approach to loving kindness meditation, which often has kind of a bit of a rigid form to it of categories of beings and phrases. And um, that's one way of doing uh, this meditation. Uh, there's many other creative ways coming from our newer teachers and that are really touching. And so tonight we're just going to um, pop some random into it and just um, trust what 
what arises the same way we did in our chat here in the Zoom call of just in the moment, what comes up, what wishes come up, what intentions, and to see how that feels within us to reflect on it, to feel connection with these people, beings, not just people, can be animal beings, plant beings, um, unknown beings, people we don't don't know, etc. Yeah. Doesn't that sound great? Let's do it. All right. So get comfy, get any supports you need for uh, your practice. Hmm. So this is a, has an intention of being an uplifting practice. These, this is one of the Brahma Viharas or divine abodes of the heart, heart, the aware heart, heart mind. And so even if you're practicing laying down, uh, you can feel might connect with a sense of openness in the front of your body or a hand on hands on your heart if that feels helpful. So start to settle into your posture that feels kind to yourself. And as you're just meeting yourself in this moment, you could see if you need any movements or releases, any areas of tension. It can feel nice to just uh, rest our eyes if we've been on a screen for a lot of the day or touch the face in a kind way. Or hold yourself in some way. And then resting your eyes, it can be resting closed or downward or resting on a, some object of beauty that might be in your space. And then just feel how it is for you in this moment. If you feel some energy of uplift, just from hearing each other's sharings and intentions, this sense of generosity and goodwill, care, interconnectedness, that feels hopeful and uplifting and has a joy quality to it. And then you might just think about your day tomorrow, just a kind of a sense of if you're going anywhere tomorrow or what meetings you have online or who you're in relationship with animal companions or if there's ways you can connect with people online just a sense of your day tomorrow and then just allow this sense of random and spontaneous to arise within you. See where the awareness is drawn, maybe to nature, maybe to some interaction with 
quote unquote strangers or people we don't know very well or we don't know who will get the message or or the uh, okay here's one for you that someone told me they uh, go into the grocery store and find the boxes of diapers and slip a 20 or a five into the handle inside the box so that somebody is going to find that some some parent So it may be someone that you don't even know who's going to receive it. And it could be that specifics don't need to come to mind, but just feel this potential within you this possibility and how does it feel in your heart mind? How does it feel in your body? And often in our metta practice, we use short phrases of kind wishes, kind intentions, wishing for the safety of others, the well-being, the happiness, safety, ease. So you could see what spontaneous wishes arise and these might actually take the form of writing messages for strangers or dear ones or people you haven't connected with in a long time maybe writing meta phrases on a note and leaving them in some shops for people to find. Can you feel the boundless possibilities? And thus far, we may have been just opening to perhaps people we know that we're already friendly with, and also contemplating, imagining, in setting intention around people we don't know. These are traditionally would be called neutral people or just people that we don't have a strong like or dislike for people we see passing by. And so you could see now if it feels in line with this heart wish to also include some reflection and contemplation and tension around difficult folks in your life. Your mind may have automatically gone to the most difficult person in your life. And see if you can just let that go for now. So there may be some 
kind of light difficulty or confusion, something unresolved or some someone that you just haven't been in touch with for a while, some uncertainty. And see if the heart feels any inclining towards random acts of kindness. or a spontaneous act of beauty. If your mind keeps drawing towards the most challenging people in your awareness right now, notice how that affects the heart. And so that can be a place that we work towards, but for right now, we're just gonna keep this feeling light, and energizing. Right, and then let that go. Feel your body right here in this moment. Just sitting or reclining or standing, whatever posture you're in. And feel free if it feels helpful to put a hand on your belly or your heart or your face or hold your own hands. And then ask your, your being, perhaps as if you're looking in a mirror or just feeling into yourself right now, what is some kindness or beauty you could offer to yourself tomorrow or in this coming week? What wishes do you most wish for and hope for for yourself? What sweetness, what generosity? For yourself.
perhaps gifting yourself with the time of stillness and quiet. Gifting yourself with an intentional meal. Now we'll recall again all of the wishes that we shared at the beginning and feel into all that has been generated in the hearts and minds during this meditation. And feel this rippling that each person sharing this practice and very similar practice all around the world in this very moment, people are practicing metta. There's somebody sending, offering, wishing metta for you right now. And feeling that each being is like a drop of rain on a still pond and your thoughts and actions and speech are rippling out and then each drop of rain on the pond is rippling and all of the ripples are intermingling. Other people's intentions are touching your heart right now and yours theirs. And it moves in all directions, north and south, east and west, and the four corners in between, above and below. All beings. All beings seen and unseen, liked and disliked, close and far. All beings. How does it feel in the heart, body, mind in this moment? To feel this intention of goodwill, kindness, wishes for beauty, safety, ease, for all beings, including yourself.
And in a moment, I'll bring the bowl several times. And we can feel the resonance, the vibration of this sound. And picture it like those ripples radiating out with these wishes for all beings. be touched by kindness in this moment, in all moments. And bowing to the teachings of your own heart. Thank you for joining us in this practice and um, I'll put the link I mentioned um, down below in the YouTube recording and yeah, I wish you joy.